Sister Wives Janelle Brown reveals what really killed Garrison. Hello viewers, welcome to the Sister Wives News Update. I hope you are well by God's grace. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Janelle Brown is opening up about the death of her son, Robert Garrison Brown. Six months ago, the world stopped for the Brown family when they learned that Garrison had taken his own life. Now, his mom is speaking out about his battle with substance abuse leading up to his death. Keep reading to see what the Sister Wives star is saying. Janelle Brown tried to get Garrison help. Garrison Brown passed away on March 5, 2024. The loss was devastating to the entire Brown family and watching them grieve the loss was heartbreaking. Now, Janelle Brown is speaking about the loss of her son and what led up to his death. I think for him, I would say the substance abuse was really probably one of the biggest factors, Janelle told People. I don't know what we could have done different. Janelle, 55, said that she reached out to Garrison to offer different resources to get him help with his addiction. The conversations never went anywhere though and the mother of six just tried to be there for him the best she could. We were always talking to him, we were loving him. All the things were there. It really just was something he could not, like the demon he couldn't get on top of the battle. He couldn't seem to get over, and it just wasn't for lack of love or lack of anything, the Sister Wives star said. We did everything. Sometimes that still isn't enough. As fans know, Garrison was found dead in his home in Flagstaff, Arizona. It was determined the cause of death was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. His younger brother Gabriel Brown discovered his body when he arrived at his house to perform a wellness check. The night before his body was found, Janelle Brown said that Garrison sent out some worrisome text messages. This prompted her to ask her children to go check on Garrison. In a police report, the Sister Wives star said that she should have gotten Garrison some help before his death. Although she doesn't think she could have done anything differently, Janelle said that she occasionally replaced things and feels they could have done something more. But I don't know. She continued, I think that's a grief trap because I think ultimately everybody is responsible for their own actions and their own decisions. We did everything. We really did everything that we could have done. And unfortunately, sometimes that still isn't enough. On September 5, Janelle Brown remembered her late son on the six-month anniversary of his death. She shared a tribute on Instagram. In the caption, she wrote, You come up in my photo memories almost every day. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you're gone, and then I remember I won't be getting a call or text from you and it all comes rushing back. The Sister Wives star continued, I know you fought hard, but in the end you just couldn't stay. I love you so much and will see you again when my journey is done. Janelle Brown opens up about son Garrison's suicide and the family's journey with addiction and mental health. Six months after the tragic loss of her son, Robert Garrison Brown, to suicide, the Sister Wives star candidly shares her insights into his battle with substance abuse and the family's efforts to support him. At Showbiz, Janelle Brown, the mother of six children, has opened up about the devastating loss of her son Garrison Brown in March 2023. Speaking to People magazine, she revealed that his substance abuse issues played a significant role in his decision to end his life. Despite the family's love, support and resources offered to Garrison, Janelle expressed her belief that he succumbed to an internal struggle that eventually overwhelmed him. She emphasized that everyone is ultimately responsible for their own actions, but the family did everything they could to help him. However, Garrison's passing has prompted a heightened awareness of mental health within the Brown family. Janelle shares that they now have real and open conversations about mental well-being and encourage each other to seek help when needed. In a poignant Instagram post on the six-month anniversary of Garrison's death, Janelle shared a heartfelt memory and expressed her love for her son. She stated that while she knows he fought hard, she will see him again when her own journey is complete. Janelle's vulnerability and willingness to shed light on her family's experience serve as a poignant reminder of the importance of seeking help with addiction and mental health issues. She encourages others to break down the stigma associated with seeking support and to prioritize mental well-being, especially among young men. The Brown family story highlights the complexities of addiction and the often hidden struggles that individuals face. Janelle's candor offers a glimpse into the devastating impact of suicide and the need for ongoing conversations and support for those affected by it. Sister Wives Season 18 Recap Where does the show go from here? 
Sister Wives never had a more dramatic stretch than season 18. So much happened, it's hard to know how to begin to summarize. But with season 19 starting in September 2024 and so much happening off-screen in the stretch between airings, we thought a refresher as to where things were left could be helpful. So where do we leave things in season 18? Where is it streaming now if you want to catch up? And what the heck is going to happen in season 19? Sister Wives 18 Recap and Summary The Most Shocking Moments Things started off in a bad way right from the get-go, as Cody navigated his separation with both Christine and Janelle. By episode 3, Janelle and Cody were at each other's throats. She accused him of gaslighting her and Cody accused her of turning their children against him. An argument around Christmas ended with Cody storming off, vowing to cut Janelle out of his life for good. The two rarely spent any time together after that, but Janelle had an ally in Christine, who had already ended her marriage to Cody a year before. Speaking of Christine, Shed started her journey of looking for Cody's opposite this season. She jumped back into the dating scene for the first time in decades. At first she enlists the help of a matchmaker before diving into the online dating scene. That's where she meets David Woolley, who fans meet officially towards the end of the season and then more extensively in the special two-part wedding special. And then there's Mary. It's clear that her relationship with Cody has been non-existent, to say the least, for years. Towards the start of the season, while grappling with the death of her mother, Mary is also considering what she wants to do next with her career. She has her clothing business, and now she has the bin be her mom left her. Mary and Cody break up in season 18 of Sister Wives. In episode 11, Mary revealed the stunning truth about her marriage to Cody. While celebrating their 32 wedding anniversary, Cody announced to Mary at dinner that he had no desire to have a relationship with her anymore. As this wasn't on camera, fans didn't get to see Cody's cruelty, but they saw the aftermath of Mary's devastation. She actually shared that Cody said to her, I never loved you. I just tried to affirm it. Knowing that Cody is ready to end their marriage, Mary starts to make plans to leave and move to Utah and live in her mother's bin B. But Robin tries to convince her to stay. The truth is Robin's hoped Mary would stick it out so she herself would have an ally. Robin notices that Cody is being different. I don't feel very steady with him, she says at one point. But in the season finale, her attempts to save Mary and Cody's marriage fail. The pair face each other in front of the cameras, but Cody is unwilling to say all of the things he said to Mary in private. You want something that we can't have together, Cody says to Mary, while Robin watches on in tears, knowing she's about to lose the last of her sisters. Cody says something about them being friends in a departure, but as fans know all too well, that's not. 